Hello everybody, this is Hash here. Welcome to part one of Bookstore tutorial with Python, TK Inter and SQLite. So in this uh, tutorial, uh, we are going to write a program that can keep track of our uh, bookstore. So it's some somehow a web uh, bookstore manager that can we can have um, uh, books named the authors, for example, the year of the publishing and uh, the book and the price. So it's uh, going to be two major parts and one of uh, one one part will be uh, the front end which is our GUI programming we are going to do it with TK Inter and the back end will be our database programming and we are going to use SQLite so if you are uh, somehow familiar with these two concepts you will find it very easy to follow and if you're not, I have, um, I think, uh, maybe 10, 10 12 uh, um, tutorials on my channel, uh, which I somehow cover basics of SQLite and also GUI programming. So maybe you can take just take a look at them and uh, come back. But if you are somehow familiar with uh, these two concepts and you know some Python core, it, it's not going to be so hard to follow. So, as you see, I'm using Atom. You you want you can use whatever ID you like to use. Uh, so it really doesn't matter. So here I have uh, my front end file. I just call it front end.py. You can call it whatever you like. And first thing we are going to import uh, TK Inter. I'm going to import everything from TK. So uh, from TK Inter import everything and the first thing we need to do we need to take care of main window will be tk with capital t and also main window dot main loop it can keep our box up and running so now when i when i use uh, when i run the code we will have this empty box here and here we have title as TK then just let's change that so we can change it to main the window dot title and we call it bookstore manager and we shall have it up there bookstore manager so uh, we are going to need some labels maybe four four labels for author a title price and the year and we need to have four entry one list box on a scroll uh, a scroller and also a couple of buttons like add button and update search and delete and close so on and then let's create them so our, there are two ways to uh, set any widget on the window in TK and one of them is pack which I cover it in my last tutorials mostly and here and another method is grid and grid will give you more freedom to choose the place of your widget so you can always use a grid uh, paper and uh, try to uh, draw your box and you can use those grids for navigate your uh, your widgets on, on your box so it's kind of good practice so here we need to have four labels then let's take care of those labels we need to i'm going to call them label title for example l for title will be label with capital um l and each label going to need a couple of parameters. The first parameters is where you are going to set your label or widget. So we are going to use our main window, right? And here, the main window and another one, the text on the widget will be, uh, let's say, title of the book. And as I said, there are two methods to set our place or widget on the box and one of them is pack which is just 
he writes dot pack here and it will pack it on your box actually very easy and very primitive you see it's just pack it on somewhere middle if you you can choose the left side to left and right but because we are going to have many widgets here we want to have better control of the, the placing of those widgets so this is not going to be a good option for us instead you can use the grid method in grid we can use a row and the column so here row will be zero and column will be zero so when I run the code now see it's place it in zero zero so this is zero row and zero columns all right so let's do write the others too so L uh, title let's say author and equal label and it will be on the main window again and the text equal um, let's say author and L author dot grid and for grid we can use again row equal zero and let's say column equal two the reason I'm not going to use column one because between um, column zero and column two we need to have some entry so actually it can make you a little bit confusing but just just uh, hold on and you will find it uh, find it very easy to grasp when I create the entry widgets so now we will have two um, label actually title and uh, author so in between them we will have the entry for title and also entry for author in front of the author label now what else we need L um, year equal label and main window and text equal let's say year so L year equal uh, sorry dot grid and we can have it on row equal one and column equal let's say zero and another thing we need is price so at price equal label and label will be on the main window and the text will be price and L price dot grid and we can put it on row equal one and column equal two. Now when we run the code here uh, main window oh yes it's main win yeah main win So here we have four label. Now let's create our entries. So it actually depends on you how you want to or organize your code. But I like to do all relevant things together. For example, I'm going to have um, title label and title entry in in one place so here we can have entry title uh, equal entry and again this entry is on main window and now what is very important every time we are going to have some input get some input from the entry we need to have some variables so before we 
before we write this one let's take care of our uh, string variable there's something called a string variable that you can um, use it as an input method so you are creating a variable and that variable going to take a place and uh, from your entry widget so here we can uh, make a variable call it um, what we can call it let's say title text all right equal string var so s and v should be capital so this is string var is going to ha be our placeholder something like a method we can um, keep it track or or uh, input from the entry now we can create um, let's call it entry title equal entry and this entry again have some parameters and the first is main window then it means where it's going to be going to place so main window and now we can say text variable equal title text so every time we write something on this entry is going to use string variable to hold that entry whatever it is and but it will be string so if we going to have some numbers integer then I, I, I'll tell you how to convert it and how you we can handle that situation and now a title dot grid we have to place it on our window then will be row equal zero and column equal one so let's see where is going to appear yes we have title and here whatever we write it's going to be um, going to be in our string variable okay so yes okay what else we need to do we need to do the same thing for our uh, other labels so for example the author first we call it we we name one variable author text equal again string var and after the author for our entry equal entry and the entry is on main window course main main window and here again text variable equal uh, this uh, author not author author text so we can just copy this one and put it here all right and here we can place the entry um read where we can put it we should put it on uh, let's say row zero and column three hope you are right yeah okay now we need to do same thing for year so we come down for year and we create one string variable so here will be year text which is which is our our variable is string var and after we can say entry year equal 
entry and here will be main window again and here text variable equal year text all right now we need to place it on our grid here dot grid so here we had the label was on row one and column zero then we can add it on row one and column one exactly in front of it so row equal one and column equal one okay let's see one more time it's I think it's very important every step you take you just check your program especially when you are um, making some GUID and you don't want to write tons of codes and after try to run it and you see oh something is wrong and you can't it's very hard to find the program with the problem that time and also actually we could r make class for this um, uh, for this GUI I think I, I create another uh, I, I create my last in my last tutorial another GUI with with class I think I use class I'm not sure but let's keep it more simple this time uh, maybe maybe later on when we finish with our backend part which is our uh, database SQLite maybe after I can show you uh, how we can um, uh, change it to class because we are going to use normal functions so let's do it for let's go for our price so here I'm going to uh, year author and oh the price is two down <laughs> all right the price will be um price text um equal actually string variable and after entry price say yes three price Entry price, yeah. Entry price equal entry on main window, and of course text variable equal price text. And after we need to place it on our box. So e price dot uh, grid and as you see the grid for the label was row 1 and column 2 then it will be row 1 and column 3 in, in front of the, the label so row equal 1 and column equal 3 let's see what we have here okay slowly slowly we are getting somewhere Okay, let's let's also write some comment on our program. Um, create the main window and and here change the title and here we have label. Um, label and entry label and entry um, labels and entries um, alright so labels and entries I think it's enough and now we need to take care of oh then this is our main loop So now we need our display box or what they call um, list box. We can use it for a search, we can use it for delete, we can use it for view all the elements what we have in our database. So it's kind of important. So list box goes almost the same. We can call it uh, 
list box equal uh, list box and where we are going to place it on main window and list box gets different uh, arguments and one of them is height let's call it 8 and also width we can call it um, let's call it 30 uh, maybe it's a little bit small but we will see and also we need to place it so listbox.grid listbox.grid we can call it on row 2 um mm, mm, yeah go to and column where column zero column zero yes let's see how it looks I'm not sure here okay 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 so maybe we need to have a little bit um wider and also we need to use um, also two more uh, parameters it's called row uh, row span and the column span so we can just stretch it all the way to here all right then here let's just first fix that width I think we need to have like 55 because if we have a book with with the title like a little bit longer title and author name it will take more place so after uh, here we can row span equals six it means it will span on six row and also column span will be until two more columns yeah yeah I think it's enough yeah I think it's enough and in this right side the empty place we will place our buttons okay okay um, I think it's enough for this uh, for the first part um, we are going to develop it slowly slowly so if you like my tutorials as always please hit the like button subscribe and i see you in next video thanks for watching